वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल की विड एजुकेशन सर्विसेस आई एम प्राणेश वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस एन एप्टेटिव टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स पार्ट एंड दिस इज अवर थर्ड वीडियो इन द सीरीज दिस इज क्वेश्चन फोर्टी एट बेस्ड ऑन मैकेनिक्स एंड वैक्टर्स अ पार्टिकल मूव्स विथ फाइनाइट वेलासिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन द वेलासिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द एक्सेलरेशन एट एनी इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइम विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट द पार्टिकल इज ऑलवेज ट्रू so two things are given to us the particle is moving with finite velocity and acceleration and the second thing is that velocity is perpendicular to its acceleration so we are given that velocity is perpendicular to acceleration v bar perpendicular to a bar which of the following statements about the particle is always true <coughs> angular momentum is conserved linear momentum is conserved kinetic energy is conserved acceleration is zero now we might think of some specific examples okay where maybe in one case angular momentum is conserved but also some other quantity may get conserved there as well okay for example if we consider the uniform circular motion where acceleration is always perpendicular to uh, velocity the centripetal acceleration then uh, the angular momentum is conserved and so is the kinetic energy okay so multiple options are right but we know that in this exam that is not going to work so the and the 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 way of solving the questions by considering a peculiar case is not going to work at least for this so then what to what to do we can make use of uh, properties of vectors in particular the dot product so if they are saying that velocity is perpendicular to acceleration so that means i can say that the dot product is zero which in turn means that i can now write this as dot product of velocity with its derivative with zero okay dot product of uh, velocity with its derivative with zero because acceleration is a derivative of velocity with respect to time now here is the critical step okay it, this is the critical step in this critical step we are going to make use of the commutative property of dot product okay commutative property e bar dot b bar is equal to b bar dot a bar so what i'm going to do is because this is equal to 0 even if i add it one more time it is not going to make any difference right so i will say v bar dot dv bar by dt plus again the same thing but this time i am going to write it in the following way dv bar by dt dot v equal to 0 understood so dot product commutative and the the dot product is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 Okay, so both the properties have been used uh, simultaneously. Now this calls for the product rule of differentiation, which also works very well in uh, vector functions. Okay, so we can now write therefore d by d t of v bar dot v bar is zero. D by d t of v bar dot v bar is zero. Okay. so this is product rule okay by product rule of differentiation or uv rule if you want to call it by product rule of differentiation product rule of differentiation but what is the magnet uh, what is the dot product of any vector with itself it is nothing but the square of its magnitude so d by dt of v squared is 0 therefore v squared must be a constant now if v squared is constant we can divide this by 2 multiply this by the mass of the particle mv squared equal to constant so what is the conclusion that we have got based on the single given piece of information that velocity is finite and it is perpendicular to acceleration and the result is that kinetic energy is conserved therefore the correct option is c